Are you guys hungry? suffix in the coveralls. These girls are all due to start lambing in January. And this is a wrap bale of hay that Arnie's going to unroll right to the other end. And this should last them day and a half. Well, day. day. Only a day now. But they're pregnant. At the moment, this barn has about uh, 30, maybe 90 ewes in here. The rest are in the other bright spam buildings and a bunch are in the big lambing barn. We feed the hay down first because sheep, when you pour grain down before there's hay in the trough, what they tend to do, especially Suffolk, is they try to eat the grain as fast as they can. It's like a, they're like little vacuums and inevitably somebody starts choking and spluttering and coughing. So we actually pour the grain into the hay so it slows them down a little bit, trickles in the hay, and they have to work a little harder to get it. They still get the same amount, but that way we avoid the whole choking issue. And this hay would be, um, it's some probably 60% grasses, maybe even 70% grasses with a little bit of uh, alfalfa in it. It's wet wrapped hay, but we wrap our hay really dry because Arnie has to roll it out and wet hay is almost impossible to roll out. So it's, it's wet, but it's just damp. And also in the winter, it doesn't freeze into an ice block. So that's what works for us and that's how we do it here. And this is the tw 20 liter, five gallon pails we use. It's just straight corn. And we do it the old fashioned way. Arnie does, I watch him. Just pour it out. And you see it trickles in the hay. That way there's no choking involved. five pounds a bucket. That's the, our own corn that we grow on the farm. So that's one side fed. 
And now he'll do the other side. And the new, pup, the new puppies find this process extremely exciting, as you can hear by the barking. And Katie's just the loyal follower. And that's all done. That's how we feed our sheep.